An enterprise service bus is a software architecture model used for designing and implementing communication between mutually interacting software applications in a service-oriented architecture. As a software architectural model for distributed computing it is a speciality variant of the more general client-server model and promotes agility and flexibility with regards to communication between applications. Its primary use is in enterprise application integration of heterogeneous and complex landscapes. Overview The concept has been developed in analogy to the bus concept found in computer hardware architecture combined with the modular and concurrent design of high performance computer operating systems. Motivation was to find a standard, structured, and general purpose concept for describing implementation of loosely coupled software components that are expected to be independently deployed running, heterogeneous and disparate within a network. ESB is also the intrinsically adopted network design of the World Wide Web and the common implementation pattern for service-oriented architecture. Duties, an ESB transports the design concept of modern operating systems to networks of disparate and independent computers. Like concurrent operating systems an ESB caters for commodity services in addition to adoption translation and routing of a client request to the appropriate answering service. The prime duties of an ESB are, monitor and control routing of message exchange between services, resolve contention between communicating service components, control deployment and versioning of services, marshal use of redundant services, cater for commodity services like event handling, data transformation and mapping, message and event queuing and sequencing security or exception handling, protocol conversion and enforcing proper quality of communication service, ESB and atomic services, an ESB generally provides an abstraction layer on top of an implementation of an enterprise messaging system. In order for an integration broker to be considered a true ESB, it would need to have its base functions broken up into their constituent and atomic parts. The atomic components would then be capable of being separately deployed across the bus while working together in harmony as necessary. Ambiguous use of the term ESB in commerce, there is no global standard for enterprise service bus concepts or implementations. Most providers of message-oriented middleware have adopted the enterprise service bus concept as de facto standard for a service-oriented architecture. The implementations of ESB use event-driven and standards-based message-oriented middleware in combination with message queues as technology frameworks. However, some software manufacturers relabel their existing middleware and communication solutions as ESB without adopting the crucial aspect of a bus concept. History the first published usage of the term enterprise service bus is attributed to Roy W. Schultz from the Gartner Group 2002 and the book The Enterprise Service Bus by David Chappell. Service denotes non-iterative and autonomously executing programs that communicate with other services through message exchange. Bus is used in analogy to a computer hardware bus. Enterprise the concept has been originally invented to reduce complexity of enterprise application integration within an enterprise. The restriction has become obsolete since modern Internet communication is no longer limited to a corporate entity. In fact, the term bus was created in the 1980s by Technic and Software Systems. Frustrated by how software seemed to always under-deliver, while hardware was always on time and under budget, Viv Grain and Iva Copyright set out to build software based on the premise of a software bus, where a bus is the standard data highway by which various elements are euro such as a computer system such as the CPU, the memory, the I.O. devices, etc. a euro communicate. This concept would allow for the tight coupling of applications. In 1986 Technic and Corporation embarked on a consulting project with Goldman Sachs to redefine the trading floor of the future applying this approach. In 1987 the first TB Euro for the integration and delivery of market data such as stock quotes, news, and other financial information a Euro went live at Fidelity, followed by first Interstate Bank, then Salomon, eventually digitizing all of Wall Street. Technegron was later acquired by Reuters in 1994 to expand its use of the information bus in the financial services markets. In January 1997, 
Raynard Iver Copyright founded Tibco Software Incorporated to create and market software for use in the integration of business applications outside the financial services sector. In 1998 TIBCO Software released TIB Active Enterprise Suite. In July 1999 TIBCO went public on the Nasdaq stock market under the ticker symbol TIBX. TIBCO stands for the Information Bus Company. ESB Architecture ESB is a modular and component-based architecture. It assumes that services are generally autonomous and availability of a service at a certain moment of time cannot be guaranteed. Therefore messages need to be routed consequently through the message bus for buffering to allow inspection and enhancement of content as well as filtering, correction and rerouting of message flow. Managed message processing, the word Euro Oebus Euro refers to a computer hardware bus that is common architecture in computer design today. Like in a computer bus it is the basic concept to allow applications to be easily plugged in and out of the network without impact on other components and without the need to restart the system or even stop running applications. In an enterprise architecture that makes use of an ESB, an application will communicate via the bus, which acts as the single message turntable between applications. That approach reduces the number of point-to-point -point connections between communicating applications. This, in turn, makes impact analysis for major software changes simpler and more straightforward. By reducing the number of points of contact from and to a particular application, it is easier to monitor for failure and misbehavior in highly complex systems and allows easier changing of components. It is an essential design concept of an ESB that every client directs all its requests through the ESB instead of passing it directly to a potential server. This indirection allows the ESB to monitor and log the traffic. The ESB can then intervene in message exchange and overwrite standard rules for service execution. Possible uses of an intervention are, buffer and delay a message in a staging area and automatically deliver it when the receiver is ready, monitor messages and services to be well behaving, enforce compliance with dynamic processing and security policies, marshal service execution based on dynamic rules, prioritize, delay, and reschedule message delivery and service execution, write logs and raise exception alerts. Another common ESB model is publish-subscribe. In this example, the ESB will route data to active data event subscribers from active data event publishers. For example, a name change in the customer system may cause a message to be published on the ESB for use by a number of systems unknown to the publisher but managed by the ESB. Data consumers with active listeners for specific event messages, called subscribers, can retrieve the name change messages as they are published. ESB Commodity Services An ESB hosts a large collection of services. There will be many commodity services that are useful and regularly needed by other services. Most services deal with directing and marshalling the routing of messages, doing common and often needed data transformations. Popular commodity service are compressing and encrypting data, splitting data into smaller chunks, filter unwanted data, extract routing information from the content via a rule engine. Basic commodity services rendered by an ESB are the transformation and conversion of multiple protocols. Delegation of protocol conversion Mapping and transformation to an ESB gives services of many different legacies a convenient and standardized way to easily plug into the bus system, no matter which protocol it decides to use to initiate a request or the response needs to be delivered in. That way even older and exotic legacy systems can be easily hooked up into the SOA without requiring the service client to adapt itself to it. Commonly needed commodity services, event handling, guarantee event processing, protocol conversion, transparently translate between communication protocols, mapping, transfer between tabular data formats, translation and transformation, change data content based on rules, queuing and buffering, handle differing data processing speeds between sender and receiver, ESB and message queuing, a mandatory and hence characteristic component of an ESB is a staging component that usually is implemented as a message queue and can be controlled and used by internal and external services at discretion. 
the message queue is required to cope with differing handling speed and temporary failure of services as well as being able to reschedule processing in case of a processing error of a service. ESB is software, the ESB is implemented in software that operates between the business applications, and enables communication among them. Ideally, the ESB should be able to replace all direct contact with the applications on the bus, so that all communication takes place via the ESB. To achieve this objective, the ESB must encapsulate the functionality offered by its component applications in a meaningful way. This typically occurs through the use of an enterprise message model. The message model defines a standard set of messages that the ESB transmits and receives. When the ESB receives a message, it routes the message to the appropriate application. Often, because that application evolved without the same message model, the ESB has to transform the message into a format that the application can interpret. A software adapter fulfills the task of effecting these transformations, analogously to a physical adapter. ESBs rely on accurately constructing the enterprise message model and properly designing the functionality offered by applications. If the message model does not completely encapsulate the application functionality, then other applications that desire that functionality may have to bypass the bus and invoke the mismatched applications directly. Doing so violates the principles of the ESB model and negates many of the advantages of using this architecture. Characteristics Most observers accept certain core capabilities as functions of an ESB, R squared, while process choreography supports implementation of complex business processes that require coordination of multiple business services. Service orchestration enables coordination of multiple implementation services to serve individual requests. Lightweight service bus technologies Lightweight service bus technologies have many of the characteristics of an ESB. These solutions often focus on low-level ESB functions, such as connectivity, routing and transformation, and require coding or scripting to implement orchestration. Developers operating at a project or tactical level, for example, just trying to fix a problem, often gravitate toward lightweight service bus technologies, but there is often ongoing tension between these initiatives and an enterprise architecture whose goal it is to optimize infrastructure across multiple projects. Key benefits, increased flexibility. Easier to change as requirements change, scales from point solutions to enterprise-wide deployment, more configuration rather than integration coding, no central rules engine, no central broker, incremental patching with zero downtime. Enterprise becomes refactorable, key disadvantages, increased overhead, slower communication speed, especially for those already compatible services. See also, Enterprise Integration Patterns, Java Business Integration, Business Process Management, Universal Integration Platform, Enterprise Application Integration, Business Service Provider, Message-Oriented Middleware, Complex Event Processing, Event Stream Processing, Event Driven Programming, Comparison of Business Integration Software, Comparison of BPEL Engines, Comparison of BPMN 2.0 Engines, event-driven SOA, commercial and open-source products, a more complete overview can also be found in the comparison of business integration software in Wikipedia. Books, David Chappell, Enterprise Service Bus, Binalda's A. Christudas, Service-Oriented Java Business Integration, Michael Bell, Service-Oriented Modeling, Service Analysis, Design, and Architecture, References, Dilip, Chitor. ESB Mythbusters, 10 Enterprise Service Bus Myths Debunked Clarity of Definition for a Growing Phenomenon Retrieved October 5, 2009 A, Lapira, Raoul ESB is an architectural style, a software product, or a group of software products? Artifact Consulting Retrieved April 16, 2010 The first thing an ESB architect should have in mind is that as of 2010 there is no global standard for ESB. Curry, Edward. 2004. Message-Oriented Middleware. In Middleware for Communications, ed. Qzh Mahmood, 1-28. Chichester, England, John Wiley & Sons. doi, 
10.1002-047086208-4CH1. ISBN 978-0-470-86206-3, Richards, Mark. The Role of the Enterprise Service Bus. Retrieved June 4, 2009 I do not consider process choreography part of an ESB, if we consider an ESB as a high-speed messaging middleware. However, I do consider process choreography part of the ESB platform. Fortunately most ESB vendors separate out these major components into different products, but package them under a consolidated ESB offering. So, in the strictest sense of the word, no, I would not consider it as part of an ESB. It is a related capability. Faraga, Matthias. How to, choosing between lightweight and traditional ESBs. Octo. Retrieved April 23, 2014 a, Fulton, Larry. Learn how to embrace lightweight ESBs. Forrester Research. Retrieved April 23, 2014 a, external links. Lasting concept or latest buzzword? Enterprise service buses hit the road, InfoWorld Test Center, JS 208, Java Business Integration, The Role of the Enterprise Service Bus, ESB Roundup Part 1, Defining the ESB, ESB Roundup Part 2, Use Cases, Services Fabrica Euro Fine Fabrics for New Era Systems, ESBs in 2007, Taking the Open Source Bus to SOA, Aggregate Services and Service Mix JBI ESB, PACKT Publishers, ESB Topology Alternatives, Rethinking the ESB, Building a Simple, Secure, Scalable Service Bus with the SOA Gateway, Louis, Adrian. Mark Dutu. Choosing between routing and orchestration in an ESB. InfoQ. Retrieved July 2, 2009 R, The Enterprise Service Bus, Reexamined.